Hey, SEO friends. Uh, tonight I have another presentation. Tonight's Cloud Links. Um, I said it's a doozy because I think that uh, people are going to really appreciate it. Um, basically, what I was looking to do was a simple and cheap way to generate Cloud Links and have the flexibility of putting into my Cloud Links whatever I want, making them however I want to look aesthetically. Uh, definitely looking good, not having a footprint, you know, having, uh, making them quick and simple. I want to be able to generate them in an hour and upload them and be done. So uh, this is my process. So when we talk about cloud links, we're talking about HTML static sites on cloud storage, Microsoft Azure, Amazon S3, Google Cloud, and approximately 15 other providers allow for HTML static sites to be put on their cloud storage. The metrics are one of the main benefits. They're high PA and DA. Um, they're relevant and topical at the subdomain level. As we know, most of what Google does is uh, separated by subdomains. So you normally get a subdomain at your cloud hosting provider. Um, that is named similar to your buckets. So that makes it quick and easy to, you know, make them topical. You put everything in that bucket it is going to be the same, you know, mini site and uh, keep it topical. And then the stuff that's going up to your, you know, uh, stack and then out to your money site or your target, you know, it's going to be topical. That's worthwhile. That's really big. Um, Unlimited and cheap, you know, you can make these forever and you're not going to run out of space. You know, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they're not going to run out of space and uh, they're cheap. Uh, you only pay for uh, the tra uh, the web transfers of the traffic through the site. And usually it adds up to a couple of bucks a month for a bunch of clients. So it's not, you know, without a doubt, it's not expensive. My bills from Amazon and uh, Microsoft, etc. They're usually three dollars, four dollars for many sites, many client sites. Um, and because they're HTML, you can you know add your embeds. Uh, you can embed you know your GMB posts, your GMB map, your maps, whatever. Embed whatever the heck you want. Embed a ton, and uh, you can add schema. You can do same as schema to build an entity. You can, you know, make it a local business. You can do whatever you want with schema. And uh, you can add your indexing helpers. And I'll leave that as uh, if you know, you know. Um, but you can easily add your indexing helpers to get these sites indexed. And uh, the gist of it is they're better than most link types uh, for less, way less. You know, you're not spending $150 for, you know, uh, links from different vendors. You're generating them yourself and you're just paying for traffic so uh, the next step was to figure out how so the how of uh, generating cloud links is um, I use MobiRise so MobiRise is an HTML editor they have great templates they you know modern looking designs and uh, the price of MobiRise is free to $150 so the free version is very good has lots of styling has lots of imagery has great typography you know the, the the sites look really good they don't look like backlinks they look like you know they don't look like generated backlinks i should say they look like you know quality websites and um if you look at um you basically make this site inside mobilize and then you click publish it saves it on your hard drive and then from your hard drive you transfer it up to your cloud account um, and then you just set the permissions on your cloud account to make sure that every good everybody in public can read it and you're good to go. Now, if you look at this, I've slugged this. Uh, some people call it tokenized, some people call it slugging, and uh, I've slugged this so that the company name is here, the headline is here, and the slug is here. And that's the way that I like to build these sites because I have templates that I've built that I like and I know what the slugs are. I know A slug is the company name. B slug is headline. C slug is, and all I have to do, I don't even have to go into MobiRise. Once I have my template set, I go into, I open the files in Notepad. And I'm sorry, Notepad++, big difference. 
So Notepad++ allows you to multi-edit files. So you can open up, you know, 10 HTML files at once and change the A slug to read super software. And the only thing that you have to do different to make sure that it edits across all the documents is say replace all in all open documents. So the steps are here. So you open all your HTML files. You do replace all in all open documents. You save all and you close all. This way the, the next time that you go into Notepad++ plus plus, it doesn't leave the old files in there and you start editing your old files. Um, you can add paragraphs of text into this replacement and you can add HTML links. So you can add a, a href, you know, image links, whatever you want. But mostly it's going to be text, paragraphs, and the occasional link. Um, it makes a big difference to slug your template and just go in here with a sheet that says A slug is your company name, B slug is your headline, C slug is a paragraph on the home page. And you just change these out with Notepad++. It edits them across all the, comp all the pages and then you upload it. And then this is the starting point, A slug, B slug, C slug, and this is our result. Super software, we can get more Google visi visibility, and then, you know, a little paragraph text. And the site looks good, you upload it, great. Now, um, stacking. So you make a couple of uh, uh, cloud pages or cloud sites at Amazon. Now you want to link them over to you know Azure and link them up to Google Cloud. Um, the problem is that you don't know the URLs yet and there is a lot of power in linking these to each other and then up to you know your money site or your target. So my solution was using 301 redirects and you have to make sure that they're 301 redirects and the only downside is that they take extra time to pass the link juice, but they do pass the link juice and they do work. So my solution, the 301 redirect solution, is Bitly. So I use Bitly, I link out to from those sites out to a Bitly link, and then later I change it to the exact URL. So it's usually like the home page of one of the cloud uh, sites. So it looks like this. <clears throat> Microsoft Azure and Amazon S3 linking up to Google Cloud Storage. Um, they link, they don't, you know, when you're making these, you may not have those links yet. Um, so you link out to Bitly and then up to Cloud Storage. Um, it does make sense to use Bitly in this process. Um, and here's the redirect detective. So the Redirect Detective is a website that allows you to uh, punch in a URL, a target URL, and make sure. So in this case, the target URL would be your uh, uh, your Google Cloud Storage or your, I'm sorry, it would be your Bitly link. And you make sure that your Bitly link doesn't do anything silly other than a 301 straight through redirect. Um, if you start seeing things other than a 301 redirect, the chances of your um, link juice passing from Azure up to cloud storage may not be there. Okay. Now, as far as a conclusion, um, the next thing to do is add more cloud accounts. There's about 15 different companies that do cloud storage and offer static HTML websites. Get them indexed and send traffic to them. Indexing is important, traffic is important. That's what makes these things powerful. Um, the last note is, you know, although cloud storage usage is cheap, it's not free. So, you, you know, expect some charges on the cards that you uh, put out there. Um, you may want to limit the charges with a virtual card, but, um, you know, it's going to be a couple of dollars per provider um, not per site. I mean, you'd have to have a decent number of sites to start, you know, generating anything near, you know, five or ten dollar uh, 
charges from those sites and you know keep the graphics small keep them optimized uh, but in general these links are very powerful very easy to use um, you don't have to use my process for um, you know bitly you don't have to use my process for um, slugging you can just do a Mobirize site and pop it right up to your cloud you know account and uh, you have your cloud links and you know put them you know, interconnect them and uh, you have a cloud stack and it's pretty simple it's very fast Mobirize is amazing Mobirize like I said is free for, you know it's unlimited usage free but they, they have a lot of extra features when you pay $150 for it it is worthwhile it is worth buying um, they have a lot of extra templates, a lot of, you know, really nice features built in um, that, you know, you look through those features and you see, you're going to see stuff that are worth paying for. So that's what I have tonight. Um, you know, clouds, pages, cloud stacking, cloud storage. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's any interest going forward as far as um, starting up the accounts, or you know actual upload of files to the cloud storage accounts you know if there's enough interest i'll do a video on that but uh it's pretty straightforward you just have to make sure that after you upload the files that you do make sure that the permissions are set to allow everyone in public to read the files and then once you drop the files on there they usually give you the public url and you go to that url and if you can see it outside of your account you're good to go so thanks again have a good night hope you enjoyed that take care bye